Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I just want to quickly showcase how we can use the Stream that Reduce feature in Java. And firstly, if you're familiar with functional programming, you might be familiar with a function called fold, or fold right, fold left. And to me, this seems very, very similar. So the concept of Reduce is that we would have some kind of list stream of elements. So we might have our int result which is going to be the reduced result from our list of numbers in this case. So I would take my numbers dot stream dot reduce and I'll reduce then take two parameters. It takes an identifier and then an operator like a lambda, which we're going to be using of defining how we would actually reduce our list into a single number. And the identifier is like the start value. So in this case, it's going to be zero. And our lambda is then going to be that we're going to take in two values. So our identifier and our other value from our list. And we're then going to simply add them together. And I think this would work with also some. But let's do this for just clarity. So let's actually just first show it works. And then we'll go, go through how it actually works. So now if we print our result. It's going to be the sum of all the values, which is going to be 10, I think. Let's see if my quick math is correct. It is, so it's going to be 10. And what it then simply does is that it goes through all our elements in the list, starting with our identifier. So first, the result is going to be 0. Then our input is going to be our identifier, so our previous result, plus the first element in our list. These are then going to be added together, so 1 plus. 0 equals 1. We then now have an identifier 1. This is then passed to our reduce lambda with the identifier of 1 and our next value of 2. So we now have 1 plus 2 equals 3. Then our identifier is going to be 3. It's going to be passed to our lambda 3.3 .3, and so on. So as you can see, we have some kind of like start value, and we then define how using the start value we're going to go through all our elements and add them together. And just to showcase again, if we set identifier one, which so is going to be eleven, but that is very much the main functionality. And just one thing to note: this does not automatically add this value to identifiers. One of these are a is the identifier. And then B is the next number. So for example, if we instead of doing A plus B just did A, then we're just, just gonna set the value each time to one. We're not gonna add the value one each time, we're gonna set the value each time to one. So we could also do something like this. Now we say that each time we take the previous value and add one for the amount of elements in the list. So we does not actually use the list for anything else than defining that we have four iterators we're gonna go through. So we're going to first set the value to 1, then value to 1 plus 1 for the first element. We're not going to be using the first element, and so on. Not, it, it all very much depends on your use case, but it's very much a way of being able to go through each element, having some kind of starting identifier, and then kind of reduce some. That's like the main use case I can think of. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick showcase of the map reduce in Java, Please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful